Working on the double bender by made by Mr. Joe Glazier. The legendary Joe Glazier. Took this guitar to him several years ago in 2020. I think it was 2020, yeah. 2021. And had him install his famous double bender. So on the push lever, which is I'm pushing the guitar away from me, the G string raises the whole step. Which is really cool for stuff like this. Especially when you play it in tune. <laughs> and then the push down on the lever up here, you push it down and you get that B bend, one whole step. So the interesting thing about the glazier bender is that the way that you tune it, uh, these little button, uh, dials back there. So if you, my G string is a little sharp, so I'm going to rotate it. I think it's up. I get confused sometimes because normally, once you get them dialed in, the uh, they don't need any, they don't need need too much. Um, tuning issues and to these little clips right here kind of sh this is attached to my hip so i'm sorry there it's uh, the same as what this is right there yeah and it goes right into the back like that and it just holds on and mr glazier has just made just an incredible combination let's see if i tune it uh let's see here a double bender and when I wanted to get this from Mr. Joe Glazier he said don't do it he said you'll hate it <laughs> and and of course I asked why and obviously whenever you're pushing on the neck you're knocking the guitar out of tune you know with the Telecaster in particular it's just bolted on with four four screws wood screws that's all it is it's a piece of furniture it's a piece of wood with some metal on it, some strings, <laughs> and you're joining right there at the joint and you're bending that area, a lot of stress. And when I first got the guitar back, I didn't realize how heavy my left hand was just resting on the guitar and it was out of tune, it'd be like. <laughs> and so you can deal with the tension. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff on the guitar that you can, you know, fine tune it. And it took me a little while to do it. And I, I, I sure enjoy it. I've been needing for quite a while to put a, a little work into the neck. This is not the original neck that came on this guitar. Uh, I've ended up getting this neck and just doing the stuff myself on it and installing all the hardware and doing a fret job on it. And finally found something that I liked. And, uh, I, took, I put several necks on here. I also have Seymour Dick Duncan quarter pounders on it. That's the other thing too. Sometimes you forget. <laughs> you know, I'm so used to playing the BG benders and I have a single bender, but this is a double, so. With that said, thought it would be time to get a little countryfied. So let's see what we can do with some country bands. Like I said, just got done doing some installation work and set up stuff on, uh, installed a little shim under here, which I use uh, paper uh, picture photo stock. It's really firm, but yet malleable, uh, which is pliable. It can form to the wood a little bit and it really works well. So a little like, uh, it's smaller than than postcard stock, but it's it's the extra stuff you get when you order pictures. And who does that anymore? And several years ago, I ordered some pictures of some deer that I wanted to put on the wall. Me holding the uh, at the end of the night, holding the, the the beautiful trophy of a deer. And when I get the pictures, it had this little extra stock, and I thought well, I'll use that for something. And that's what I use to shim the next. <laughs> Fender Twin.
let's get the shut the reverb off and let's just find us a little country groove. You ready? Nobody's dying if you make a mistake. So make them so you can learn how not to make them. You know, I'll say it again. Mistakes, that is uh, the greatest learning tool, you know. And when it comes to your instrument, especially when you start having additional options on an instrument that you typically don't have. A normal guitar doesn't have these options. It's really cool to think that way so you can make it happen with your hands when you do have a normal guitar to try to make the bends that a bender guitar can do. It's a, it's a challenge either way, isn't it? But, you know, the best thing to do when you have something like this is just start bending and pushing. Like, like this really cool bend, this is a total accident, but it's really cool. That's on the, uh, yeah. And if I were to do that without a bend, uh, without a... Uh, without the bender. It can be done. It sure is. It can be. And of course, you get your prototypical steel guitar bends. And let's see. about playing any of the benders as you start doing it they start shifting on you and you start running out of rope <laughs> if you look this is tied to my hip right here and that will twist a little bit and you know before you do it of course keep in mind a bender's not designed to be used sitting down i'm just doing this because i just want to <laughs> that's the way to do it 
But that's not too bad, huh? Forget with a double bender, you got these kind of things you can do um, where you're pulling both. Let's see if I can show you. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah. Uh. There you go. I'm all out of whack. There you go. That's a double bend at an awkward position, but you get the idea. This is really something. Countryfied, but listen, I've had a lot of people ask me about this guitar, and I've been meaning to uh, get my hands on it and start working on it. So, uh, one of the things that folks have been asking for has been, um, oh heck, to together again. You know that uh, I don't even know how I did it and what I did at the time. I did obviously, but it had some really neat stuff, and I promise you, I'm going to get to that here pretty soon. But I hope you enjoyed a little bit of some country fried bends just trying to bust in the the new little setup right here so far i like it it's got a little bit more adjustments to do whenever you make an adjustment to your guitar the biggest thing you need to do now is take it for a test drive so put a little time behind it i'd like to get about 15 20 minutes and i like to get it at uh at, at some speed where i'm really pushing myself trying to uh, achieve something so, so that little country thing is just a perfect little thing to do right there so with that said god bless you all thank you again happy new year to you and enjoy some bends especially my brother jason out there man i'm gonna tell you something he's lighting up he's got that bender mechanism on the back it's cool man it's cool keep on doing it brother jace i appreciate the time you've been spending with me and each and every one of you that spend any time with me if you've made it this far i should have said this at the beginning but any second you spend with me is truly a gift to me and i don't take it for granted god bless you and your families thank you hope you enjoyed it <laughs>